So hello and welcome to day eight of Thy Kingdom Come here in the Southampton Methodist District. And uh, our theme today is wind. And uh, so I hope it's not too windy outside for you today. Uh, we'll see how we get on with today. Some years ago, I went on a um, lay workers retreat uh, over in uh, Romsey. And ever since then, I have had uh, wind mills in the garden uh, to remind me about the presence of God blowing uh, through. So this theme, um, so there's a picture of one of my windmills uh, in a garden now. It's a bit, uh, a bit faded. Maybe I'll upgrade it later this year. Who knows? But yeah. It kind of reminds me that when we look outside and we can notice the wind, but we don't always see the wind. We don't know where it comes from. Uh, we don't know where it's going. Maybe like me, you listen uh, occasionally to Radio 4 long wave and then you get interrupted, especially I do that particularly when there's cricket on. And then you listen and then they interrupt with a um, shipping forecast and it talks about wind speeds and you don't really know what that means. So it's a lot of unknowns about something that we experience every day. So let us move on. So a verse from uh, John 3 and verse 8. The wind blows wherever it wants, just as you can hear the wind but you can't tell where it comes from or where it is going. So you can't explain how people are born of the spirit. This comes in that conversation um, in John 3 between Jesus and Nicodemus. And Nicodemus uh, has been uh, introduced to the idea that we need to be born of the spirit. I guess part of the reason why uh, the Holy Spirit is, is uh, wind is often used to describe the Holy Spirit is because like the Spirit, we can't um, predict the wind. We can't control the wind. What pattern it forms, what pathway it takes. But maybe this is a metaphor for us. In some ways, it releases us. It is the spirit's job to uh, introduce people to God. It's, it's the spirit uh, who transforms us. Maybe we need to uh, just let go. You know, we've been praying for these five folk uh, and I urge you to continue doing that, but actually it isn't us who will do anything. It's the Holy Spirit. When I was a youngster, I grew up um, right by the River Hamble in a place called Swanwick and uh, the River Hamble is, is, was made famous, if you like, uh, by a TV series called Howard's Way. But it was a very yachty area and people um, would often encourage me to sail. I did occasionally, I was more, uh, I wasn't really a big sailor, but I did remember meeting a group of New Zealanders, Kiwis, and uh, they had trouble sometimes getting back into their houses. I won't explain how that was. But uh, I was quite a nimble teenager in those days and would help them out by climbing up ladders and uh, getting into their bathroom windows. And they offered me the chance to sail around um, the globe as part of a race. In some ways I wish I'd done that. But they would have been completely at the beck and call of the wind to complete that task. When somebody was once asked about uh, sailing around the world, they were asked what was the most terrifying moments of the journey. 
and their answer, her answer was that these, uh, the storms weren't the ways, uh, most frightening. But the most frightening was when there was no winds and no movement for days, they're calm, which I thought was interesting. I'm gonna show you, uh, introduce you to a piece of music now that has been written for um, this year's Thy Kingdom Come. And it's um, based around the idea that we're, uh, we're not made for the harbor, but we're made for the sea. So enjoy this tune by Andy Flanagan. We are not made for the harbor. This God at risk exposed You lift our eyes to horizons Where that heaven brushes earth And this worn world is transformed We are not made for the heart We are made for the sea Though at times it's wild and cold and dark It's where we're meant to be And launch us out as a pilot Though we may be tossed about But your presence in the storm, it walls us in, calls us out. You sent us out to the market, sent us out to the fields. Jesus, hope ambassadors. We take no purse for the journey, but take your authority to declare that all is yours. spark out to the school gates and out to the bars may we risk what was never on we are not made for the harbor we are made for the sea though at times it's wild and cold and dark it's where we're meant to be you launch us out as a father though we may be tossed about but your presence in the storm it walls us in and calls us out we are not made for the heart we are made for the sea no at times it's wild and cold and dark it's where we're meant to be we launch us out as a father though we may be tossed about it but your presence in the storm it calls us in and calls us So, how do we respond? Maybe like that tune, that song was talking about that we're not made for the harbour, but we're made for the sea. Maybe we need to uh, respond by allowing the Holy Spirit to blow us, uh, to uh, encourage us. So, let us finish our time together here by praying together. Let us pray. Come, Holy Spirit, blow upon us and cause us to be moved by the strength of your presence. Amen. And continue to pray 
as continue to pray for our five friends that the spirit may blow in their lives that they might be introduced to a new concept a new direction in their lives but thanks for joining with us again today tomorrow day nine we'll pick up a new thing and our theme tomorrow is guaranteed so take care god bless enjoy the rest of your day <laughs>